Hey guys, so today I've got a little bit of a different video for you. Today I want to talk about just some of the amazing new elemental items we got in Rage of Elements. Before that, I should tell you guys, channel memberships are now available. So if you're interested in building anywhere from one teamwork character to a whole team of them with me live, then sign up. Let's get started. So I'm going to start with these Scalding Gauntlets. These are a pair of plus two striking spike gauntlets. If you grab or restrain a creature while wearing the gauntlets, that creature must succeed at a fortitude save or take persistent fire damage and be sickened one from the pain. There are also greater, major, and true versions of this item. The higher level versions of this item have greater striking runes and even flaming runes. Just this item existing makes grappling even better than it already is. Just think, if they fail their saving throw, then they take that fire damage and are sickened even if they escape from your grasp. And remember, grappling a target means they're off guard to everyone. Combine that with the sickened from this item, and you have a minus three to AC as long as you are grappling them, in addition to a minus one to everything else. This item is flat out amazing for barbarians, as the sickened condition from this item also means it's easier for you to re-grapple them after they escape. Fighters can also take huge advantage of this item as well. Next we have one of my personal favorite items on this list, the Lionfish Sphere. This is a plus two striking underwater wounding spear. Underwater is a new rune that basically means that the weapon works just as well underwater as it does regularly. While you are holding the spear, you gain a plus two bonus to athletics checks to swim. In addition, once per day when you hit with the spear, you can use a reaction to inject the target with poison. Stages 1 and 2 of this poison deal good poison damage and make the target sickened. The third stage takes the opponent out of the fight completely by making them paralyzed for 2d4 hours. There's even a greater version that deals 1d6 extra poison damage on a hit. It also allows you to use the poison from this weapon once per hour rather than once per day, and it also increases the DC of the poison. This is a fantastic weapon, especially if you're in an underwater campaign. As like I said before, this weapon works just as well underwater as it would if you were on land, which means no penalties for using it in that situation. Also, the poison is just incredible. I can tell why it's only once per day or once per hour for the greater version. If you could hit the entire enemy party with this poison, it would be ridiculous. There is definitely a reason why Sickened is so rare for players. Unfortunately, a lot of creatures do have good fortitude saves, which means you're probably going to have a hard time getting that amazing stage 3 effect. But even if you never get that effect, it still does good poison damage and makes them sickened. I wish you could use that poison effect more often, but I completely understand why they made it so you can't. Next up we have Kizadar's Shield. This of course is the item in the thumbnail. This standard grade dark wood shield can literally repair itself. For one action, once per day, you can have the shield heal three hit points per round for the next minutes. This happens at the start of your turn. In addition, once per day you can spend 10 minutes to put the shield into the ground at the edge of your campsites. Doing this creates a wall of thorns around your campsites. It also immediately casts a fourth rank heal spell using three actions on everyone in the campsite. The wall lasts for 8 hours, after which it rots away to nothing. The shield can then be retrieved with an interact action. 
So not only can this shield protect a campsite once a day, but it can repair itself. This shield is flat out amazing for champions, but a shield that can repair itself is amazing for boss fights. Especially if you're using it not only to protect yourself, but for your allies as well. Champion is one of my favorite classes, and I've been waiting for something like this for a while. Okay, now it's time to talk about the item that inspired this video, the Rooting Rune. This rune can be etched onto any melee weapon. If you critically hit with this weapon, then the target becomes immobilized, and Clumsy won for as long as it's immobilized. Keep in mind, there is no saving throw for this. You do, however, have to crit to get the effect, which is why this rune is amazing for defensive fighters. You are essentially forcing them to attack you instead of your allies, and this also makes them easier to hit for your entire party. What makes this rune even more amazing is while the clumsy doesn't stack, multiple critical hits do increase the duration, meaning as long as you keep critting, they're stuck like that. If you just need to hit, this would be amazing on champions as well. But you gotta crit, so it's better on fighters. This last item I saved for last because most of you probably won't even have access to as first of all, it's a rare item, and second of all, it's a level 16 rare item. But this thing was so amazing, I had to cover it. This intelligent item has two effects. That's right, this thing is intelligent. Once per day for two actions, you can ask this item to cast one of three spells. It can cast Curse of Lost Time, Ferris Form, or a 7th rank elemental form, metal elementals only, depending on your requests. Also, if you are targeted by an emotion effect, then you can use a reaction to gain a plus 4 status bonus to your saving throw. In addition, regardless of whether you succeed or fail at the saving throw, the teardrop attempts a counteract check with a plus 36 modifier, to reflect the effect back on its caster. Targeting the effect using their statistics, but controlling the effect as if you were the one that cast it. So basically, if someone decides to cast a fear spell on you, you can use a reaction to get a plus four on your save against it, and reflect that fear spell right back at them. And this just doesn't work on spells either. It works on any emotion effect. So you can reflect back that dragon's fear aura right back at it. And I just realized that this also works on metal effects. Meaning if someone tries to cast needle darts at you, guess what? That's going right back at them. And the spells this item gives you aren't bad either. Curse of Lost Time by itself is already amazing. As it deals damage and makes him clumsy and enfeebled. And the other two are pretty good defensive options as well. Yeah, overall, I can definitely see why this is a rare item. And a level 16 rare item at that. As in the right situation, this is borderline broken. And that's going to do it for this video. Remember to become a member if you want those character creation live streams. And be sure to check me out live on September 1st for a deep dive into the two new classes. That should be really interesting. And be sure to check out the Patreon page for exclusive perks. Link is in the description. If you're interested in a Kinesis build, you can check out this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, teamwork is vital.